Hello, hello friends. It's Tyler from Rehab to Fab Designs and today we are going to be painting the oh so plain and boring cornhole boards that I picked up from Walmart. So I have these um, cornhole boards that I bought at Walmart for outdoor play and as you can see they're very boring. Just plain old ugly plywood. So we're going to dress them up with some Dixie Bell paint and those products. Y'all know I don't do boring, so I had to dress these up. I decided to paint them in some super cool colors that would stand out and make my boards look like nobody else's. So I'm using the new Chalk Mineral paint color in a color called Secret Path, and it is from the new Cottage Collection from Dixie Belle. I applied it using a flat medium brush all over the front of one of my cornhole boards and I also blended it using cucumber ice which is another color that comes from the cottage collection. Doesn't really matter how you apply it here the point is to just get the paint on. You can put it on in straight motions, you can swirl it, um, whatever you want to do. We're just trying to get the paint on at this point and then we are going to blend it all together. This is called a Mr. Spray Bottle and it just has water in it. You can pick these up from Dixie Belle or you can pick them up at a local um, craft store. But I do like to use the misting bottle as opposed to just a regular spray bottle. A spray bottle will kind of spray it out more in a stream or bigger, heavier drops. This will apply it in a light mist. So I sprayed my purple color to make sure it's nice and moist. And then I'm going to apply the cucumber ice just in little dabs um, over top of the purple. Once I do this, we're gonna swirl it all together and get a nice blend going. Swirling your paint in a circular motion like this will give you a more swirled blend. Um, it'll kind of resemble clouds if you will um, so it will show lighter areas and darker areas and that's okay I'm gonna be putting a transfer over this because I want my boards to be extra bougie but uh, whatever look you're going for is what you want to do if you want a nice smooth blend you can start using vertical and horizontal strokes um, or you can do this cloud black blend however you want Once this is nice and dry, you're gonna come in and put a second coat, and I'm just doing this so I get good coverage because we are applying this to raw wood. For my other board, I'm going to do a totally separate look because I want these to be contrasting so you can tell which team is which. And obviously it doesn't matter which board I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna be the winner every time. Ha, just kidding. I am really not that great at this, but it is a really fun game to play with your family or kids or if you have friends over. So I highly recommend Cornhole, but if you're gonna do it, do it right. Make sure you got the coolest boards on the block and get them decorated with some Dixie Belle Chalk Mineral paint and some transfers like we're doing here. You can apply water to your piece before you start adding your paint if you want to help your paint move a little easier or you can just go directly in with your paint. I'm misting it here to get it wet and then going to apply my secret path and then come right over top of it with my little dots of cucumber ice and get blending again. So for my opposing board, again, I'm using colors from the new Cottage Collection from Dixie Belle. For these, I'm gonna be using English Ivy and Weeping Willow. It's a darker green and a lighter green, and we're gonna do the same thing, blending the two colors together. First, I'm going to apply my darker green, which is the English Ivy, then I'm gonna dot it with the Weeping Willow, and then just kind of blend it all together. For my purple board, I'm going to be using the Butts and Branches Transfer, inspired by the Top Drawer RVA. Um, transfers are super easy to use. They come in basically three pieces or three parts. There is the image design, there is the backing that is on it, and then there is the clear front portion. So the image is printed onto the clear part, and when you're ready to apply it, you simply peel the backing off, lay it down on your project, and then it comes with a little rubbing stick that you rub over the image, and this rubs the image 
edge off of the clear portion and onto your project. For pieces like this, you can simply cut out and place whatever items you want on your project. And I do like to kind of stack them and um, layer them so I get a nice realistic effect. Here you can see the different parts of the transfer. You simply peel the top portion off. This is the clear portion I was talking about that has the image imprinted on it. So you peel the back off of it and then you just take the clear part and put it down on your project. And then that little brown stick you see laying there near the hole in my cornhole board is the rubbing stick. And that's what we're gonna use to rub the image onto our project. For my green board, I'm going to be using the cacti and succulents and eucalyptus and cotton transfers. I've been dying for a project to use these little cacti and succulents on and I thought this would be perfect because the color is great. Also, it's a nice contrast to my um, kind of flowy floral images that I put on the purple piece. So this one comes with two larger images that you see here and I'm going to use this larger grouping to put at the bottom of this board, similar to the purple one where I put a large grouping on it. And then we will scatter the other cactuses, the loose cactuses and um, or cacti, I guess, and um, succulents around the top this is a good shot here where you can kind of see where you peel the backing off and um, remove the top half and again simply place it on your piece making sure it's nice and straight obviously it doesn't look straight because I didn't cut it straight but the image is we're going to use our rubbing stick once again to rub the image off and onto our project and then this portion will be done as well I stacked and layered pieces from the eucalyptus as well as the cacti and succulents to the top left and right till I got some pretty cool images or what I think is cool. Um, and then this piece is done. The only thing I did to finish them off was to seal them using Dixie Bell's clear coat so that they are nice and protected and will last for years to come. Can't wait to get started playing with this with my kiddos. Hope you guys enjoyed this process. Be sure and subscribe to the Dixie Bell and Rehab to Fab Designs channels. Click on that bell to turn on notifications so you can get notified when we post. And be sure and drop any comments or questions you have down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and happy painting.